What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. You already know about the title, which your boy is reacting to, y'all. I, I feel like we have a real interesting one right here. Real, real, real interesting one. So I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. Come join the family. You already know. Don't forget to, don't forget to leave a like and comment something down below down in the comment section. Post the brand new videos, too, on my Patreon. Go check that out. Well, not videos. A video on my Patreon. Uh, go check it out. Uh, but, yeah. I really I don't have nothing really else to say. Oh, this is what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to do my uh my Korean intro to y'all. Shoot, that's what I dang. Well too late now. I ain't I ain't about to redo this intro, so it is what it is. Let's get let's let's go. In 2015, One Direction, the biggest boy band at the time, announced that saying one of its five members was leaving the group because he wanted to be a normal 22 year old who is able to relax and have some private time out of the spotlight. Same also said, I know I have four friends for life in Louis, Liam, Harry, and Niall. I know they will continue to be the best band in the world. But what happened next was the complete opposite, yeah. saying they did not continue a normal life. Instead, he debuted as a soloist. One Direction, now a four-member group, continue their planned tour without saying, released their promised follow-up album, and announced that they were going on an indefinite hiatus. You're taking a year-long break. What you a year off? Of? You're not going to be out years and years. It's been more than eight years since One Direction's hiatus, time in which the members have revealed how they really feel about each other and the group. For Liam, the One Direction members were more co-workers than actual friends. You know, the day the band ended, I was like, thank Lord for that. And I know a lot of people are going to be mad at me for saying that, but I needed to stop or it would kill me. Saying said that he actually left the oh, group me. because he was unhappy with the group's musical direction and his oh, inability really? to put any input in. And said that One Direction's music was generic. After Saint left, he had public arguments with Louis on Twitter. And recently, stop. Louis revealed that he really thought their hiatus was going to last a year or two. And that's why he took the longest to start his solo career. In recent years, the tension between the members has cooled down a lot. Wait. My fault. Like, okay, like I, I listened to I listened to One Direction back in, but I don't. I wasn't. I it wasn't like that. Like that. After Saint left, he had public. See, you know, I see this. I didn't. I don't. I don't really remember this. Jesus, Jesus. Remember nothing. Remember when you had a life and stopped making. Arguments with Louis on Twitter and recently Louis revealed that he really thought their hiatus was going to last a year or two And that's why he took the longest to start his solo really career amazing. in recent years The tension between the members has cooled down a lot They now seem to be more respectful towards one another But the idea of a reunion seems highly unlikely since they confess that they don't really talk to each other anymore oh, And they are yeah. all very focused on their solo careers But this whole indefinite hiatus lie has left some kind of trauma on fandoms and pop culture. Although it's hard to admit it, One Direction is not on an indefinite hiatus. They actually disbanded in 2016. This is why when the current biggest band BTS announced that they were going on a temporary rest from oh, activities, that. many who don't really know BTS's story instantly assumed that history was going to repeat itself. Many said that BTS is going on a quote-unquote hiatus that was- Hold up! Netflix tweeted this? Emotion went through and they are not actually coming back. And whenever a BTS fan says that BTS is actually coming back because they said they will, many respond this exact same phrase. That was what One Direction said. Indefinite, indefinite hiatus, man. Do you know what that means? One Direction is still on. Yeah, exactly. You know what a definite yeah. hiatus oh, means? Uh, reminds me of One Direction. P.S. They never did get back together. But BTS's <laughs> yes. story as a group and as individual artists, mm -hmm. as well as the inevitable circumstances and reasons as to why the BTS members are on rest, are completely different to One Direction's. And this frantic reaction by the media and the general public say a lot about how One Direction destroyed the true meaning of hiatus by pretending to be friends and giving false hopes to millions of young fans. On the other hand, there is multiple evidence that can convince even the biggest skeptic that a BTS comeback will happen. There is even a contract and an approximate date oh, of wow. when this will happen. And it's not too far away. Probably 
think the biggest mistake of Western media and the general public is treating BTS as a Westerner who follow the Western rules of music and pop culture. Because in Korea, if a music label and the members of a group say hiatus, it actually means hiatus. This is especially true because hiatus are not very common in K-pop, but these bandments are. So music labels and groups don't really have the need to give false hopes to fans because every year, dozens of groups disband and dozens of groups. What? All these groups did? Wow, black level mix. Oh wait, wait, oh wait, wait. My fault. Debuts in 2022. Okay, this. Okay, April. Dang. Group's debut, and it's common for the performers part of a disbanded K-pop group to redebut either as a soloist or as part of another group. Disbandment is not a word that groups avoid. However, it's true that BTS is different from these K-pop groups because they are some of the biggest artists on the planet, and their really? disbandment or hiatus would be news around the world as a negative thing. And that was what happened. BTS yeah, are going on hiatus. The boys of BTS are headed in different directions. BTS just announced they are going on a hiatus hey, to focus on their solo career. I ain't right, OG. They be dragging it, though. Like, dragging it, dragging it. Like, dragging it, boy. Careers. So I don't know if I think they're going to come back. BTS just revealed some major news, and it's not smooth like butter. Like, <laughs> it's time to move on. The K-pop supergroup broke hearts around the world, announcing they're going to take some time to focus on solo projects. Their management says it's not a hiatus, so kind of sounds like it. I mean, I mean, I guess all good things must come to an end, right? So to translate the idea, tainted by One Direction, BTS and their label had to go out of their ways to reassure global fans and the general public that their rest from group activities actually means rest from group activities. <laughs> There are many reasons why BTS's and One Direction's hiatus are different, but here's one. For One Direction, it was a decision. For BTS, it was unavoidable. Whether the BTS members wanted it or not, it's mandatory for every Korean man to enlist in the military for 18 months. Yeah, so BTS when I heard that, I was like, wow. to announce in 2020 that they were about to serve their mandatory military service and going into a two-year rest in very careful ways. Oh, because the hiatus the stigma that One Direction two left years? in fandom was too big to simply say that they were going on a hiatus because no one would actually believe their words. This is why BTS prepared a lot of special content in 2019 and 2020 to promise their fandom army and the media that a comeback after their enlistment will happen, including promoting their album Map of the Soul 7 as their biggest and closing project of their first chapter as BTS. Many mm. songs from this album were past BTS songs reimagined. They plan to promote it's this album shadow. with a massive global tour. They also said goodbye 2019 by revisiting boys love their all eras and performing their old songs in award shows they also plan to release their korean anthology album proof and their japanese anthology album the best as projects that mark the first of many chapters and they also said that bts's chapter 2 was about to start we believe that this Awards opens the beginning of our new chapter. But all of this is just the award to fans and their artistic projects. What can actually convince even the biggest skeptic that they will come back is their brand new seven year contract to continue being part of BTS under their label Big Hit Music. They also plan and did end up releasing statements on how important and meaningful it was for them to re sign with their label for seven more years. This seven could work as years. a promise to fans, the media, and the skeptical general public that they will come back. It's not just their word. They literally have a contract to prove it. But the BTS law happened, burying the news of the BTS contract renewal. Jin is currently in the military and the other members are scheduled to go in the next 12 months. K-pop supergroup BTS, Jin, the eldest member, has enlisted in the South Korean army Army because Korean men are required to enlist in the military by age 28. Oh, everything wow, that is bro. happening right now was supposed to happen in 2020. Their announcement of a temporary rest from group activities and their military enlistment was supposed to start at the end.
end of 2020, not at the end of 2022. But all of these plans were shattered because of COVID-19, which canceled all their concerts around the world and the big promotions they had planned for their last album of Chapter 1. It seemed like this could have been a bittersweet see you later because although they had a new BTS contract, all their big plans were canceled. But what many were not expecting was that the government was about to release a new law that lets global artists like BTS to serve their military mandatory service at age 30 instead of age 28. This new law was nicknamed the BTS law because they are the only ones who meet the challenging criteria. Thanks to this law, BTS didn't have to go to the military for two more years. During this time, BTS released a pandemic album, a trilogy of English songs, collaborations, and their chapter one Korean anthology that's, album. Which that's crazy. Butter was my very first joint that I ever seen by them. It was butter. I, I reacted to butter first. I think I reacted to that with my mom. And then I think the second one, I, th I then I think we then I think we went to Permission to Dance and then we went to Dynamite. These three are just straight bangers, bro. ...of English songs, collaborations, and their Chapter 1 Korean anthology album, which was supposed to be released alongside their Japanese anthology album. They also had their Permission to Dance tour. After all of this, BTS announced that they were taking a rest from group activities they because did a they lot. were going to the military. But two years after the announcement of the renewed seven-year contract passed, and the general public is not aware that it exists. This is how the confusion started. This is why many think they are not coming back, despite there being a contract that says they will. Shout out! Oh. Shout out to a person the first step, too. they renegotiated their new BTS contract and they consulted these new terms with their parents and big hit executives. This is why their current solo projects are still considered BTS projects. For example, all the members have their own personal Instagram accounts, but their label doesn't manage these accounts. Their yeah, management sure. only has access to BTS's group account. This is why the members' individual promotions, although they are considered solo projects, are still published on BTS's YouTube. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and other social media platforms. I, f I feel like I feel like it, it should be like that for like everybody. Like I, I like that. I like that. It's smart too, and I'm actually glad that you know they ain't they ain't, they ain't controlling everything like how most companies would uh would do would do the uh, their artists or their groups and stuff like that. Whenever they have collaborations, it's always attributed to a member of BTS. If it's Jimin, it's Jimin of BTS. If it's Suga, it's Suga of BTS. If it's Jungkook, it's Jungkook of BTS. I go by the name of Arm of BTS. BTS. BTS the members are also considered solo artists on the streaming platforms. But if you go to their physical album's credit page, it still says BTS because their solo albums are still BTS's projects in a way. This is not what happened with One Direction. With One Direction announced their hiatus, their contract ended, and they all signed to different labels as solo. Like so you will never see One Direction's official page promoting mm. their solo albums, and you will never see a Harry Styles song being promoted as a song by Harry of One Direction because yeah. the members are now completely independent from each other. Their contract with One Direction and their label cycle ended on 2016. But with BTS's hiatus, a new BTS contract started. This is why it can be frustrating for ARMYs when the media or people who don't know anything about BTS yeah. or their story in the music industry instantly assume that BTS broke up and they are never coming back. BTS even gave an approximate date of when they are coming back and the young Younger members are basically going to the military earlier than they should be, just so they can return as a group as soon as possible. Hope y'all stay safe too. Is BTS doing too much? BTS have schedules as a group program for 2030, leaving the question to many. Are they being exploited? Do they actually want to leave the group and become soloists like One Direction? Are they being forced to be part of BTS forever? The answer they've given multiple times is no. And they even give logical reasons as to why they are the ones making their own artistic decisions, business decisions, and other personal decisions. Exactly. The general public doesn't really understand how honest the BTS members have been over the years. And how hard their story in the music industry has been. Unlike One Direction, BTS speak about their experience as global artists. If they are burned out, they say they are. <laughs> 
심적으로 많이 힘들었었어요. 저희끼리 얘기를 하면서 대체를 할까 말까 고민도 했고. If they are disappointed by an experience in an American show, they talk about it. If they are sad, their demos didn't work out, they say it. 그렇죠. 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 
but when the One Direction members perform solo, they don't call their fans Directioners. So I stop saying that's what One Direction said when it comes to BTS's rest, because their situations are completely different. BTS's rest is inevitable, and if there's something BTS has always done, it's keep their promises. So support BTS's solo projects in this new BTS chapter, and let's welcome them as a group it's again lit. in 2025. That was a good video though, that was a real good video. Um, but hey, I hope they all stay safe while they while they go into other uh, armies stuff like that. I hope they all stay safe uh, like that and I hope they come back better than ever. And yeah, y'all tell me your thoughts about this down in the comment section. I won't lie, I, I actually learned a lot in this. Like I did not, I did not know a, a, a cool majority of this. All I knew is, is that one of them, one of them already left and I seen a picture of his head shaved. That's, that's, that's what I do remember, but hey, this was a really good video though, well, well explained, I, I now understand it all, but hey, thank y'all, love y'all, don't forget to be you, be great, continue following your dreams, check out all the other videos I posted, your boy's out.